Okay, I've got a little bit of explaining to do. I tried recording this a bit earlier, and guess what? I forgot to unmute my mic. Glad I noticed, because now I... Uh, I made it to about halfway in the previous bit, so apologies about that, guys. Ah, I'm just glad I didn't finish the whole episode without realizing it. Oi minute and welcome, my name is Shish Anime. Welcome back to Student Union, the demo, part two. And uh, I'm having to do this again because of my stupidity just earlier. I just realized just a moment ago that it was not record. Well, it was recording. However, my microphone was actually muted. So yeah, I kind of messed up. So I know a little bit of what happens later on, but I will choose the same things that I did before. I'm not going to change it. So anyway, if you guys are ready, I sure as hell am. So, Igumashuka. I'm in the white room, in a white bed, with an ugly blanket. Everything looks clean at a glance. But a closer look reveals a thin layer of grime and dust. Nasty hospital. Consciousness returns to me hastily. It's a slow process, but I feel myself getting more lucid while staring at the little cracks in the wall. This is a hospital room. Why? Oh, I remember. Damn it all. In charge of my thoughts, there's a light knock on the door. I don't bother responding. Is where Bent is. Oh, you're awake. How are you feeling? Yep. Teacher helped us get it. What happened? You got in a fight after you struck a female student. Holly gave uh, Mr. Jean the details. Who, volunt who volunteered them to her, I guess? She maintains her crossed arms. The student who knocked you out was suspended a couple days. It wasn't yet decided what to do about you and the girl. Alice. Yes. Mr. Underwood convinced uh, Principal Decker that he'd be responsible for your punishment. So who knows if you should feel lucky or not. How did I get it? Well, Mr. Jean hauled you to the principal's office. Your parents wouldn't pick up the phone, and you wouldn't wake up. He called an ambulance? Then... He was going to, but I said I'd take you to the AR. Here we are. None of your emergency contacts... Num none of your emergency contact numbers will pick up the phone, so I've been stuck here. I'll look at the clock. It's a little after ten in the morning. Sorry. My weak apology irritates her. I could have called the cops instead. And I'm going to do the same choice that I originally went with with this one, which is I'm sorry. Because I thought about choosing I overreacted, but I'm not the guilty one. But um, my initial thought when I first did this bit was I don't want to come off as making excuses, and this could seem as like the perfect little shun off excuse. So I'm going to do the same as before and choose I'm sorry. Because what more can you do? Because she's she's done nothing wrong. She wasn't involved in the incident. She was involved in the aftermath and she helped us, so an apology is the best I can think of. Sorry. <sighs> can you explain why no one will pick up the phone? I don't know. Miss Webb sits next to the bed. She tosses my phone on my lap. You have all my emergency contact now. Parent on, I see that Samantha, a new contact, has uh, sent me the message test. <laughs> I thought that was inappropriate. Your parents not responding is inappropriate. Very true. Thank you. Am I free to go? Eager, the doctor said you'll be fine with some rest, but you need to come back in a couple of weeks to get the stitches out. I turn off my phone and look up. Oh, I start to rub uh, my freshly treated wound, but she whacks my hand down. Damn. You also need to sign the bill and turn it in at the front desk. I don't have insurance. That's why they have payment plans. Kane should pay, not me. You can hire an attorney to press charges and try that. Want my advice? Sounds like she's going to give it either way. Kane's dad won't pay for it. He'd end up spending more trying to collect. Yeah. That's the sad part. And I don't know why his dad won't allow it. I mean, the, his son put another student through glass and put him in hospital. Maybe it's because it's like my girlfriend and that lot, and it's like, there's no context to it. That's probably it. I lift up the sheet and start to uh, stand, but Miss Webb places her hand on my knee. Stop. I'll bring the paperwork to you. I obey it first. My cell buzzes. We need to talk. Yep, of course, Miss Underwood wants to talk. I flip through my text history of Alex, Alice and type, I'm really sorry I lost my temper. I stared at the draft message for a little while. I decided to delete it. Because she's in the wrong as well. She is in the wrong. And I don't care what anybody says. I'm standing by that. She is also in the wrong pretty badly. Then again, we're not exactly in the right either. 
But damn, I hope that gave her a wake-up call. To show that you cannot do that those types of jokes, because that's not a joke. I can't believe I did that. And she, oh yeah, and she took it like 10 miles more than it should have. I can't believe I did that. What's wrong with me? No, 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 no. You had a reason to, my dude. Don't worry. I was so on edge. I need to talk to her. I'm standing by the window and ready to leave by the time Miss Webb returns. Clearly disapproving of me being out of the bed, she provides a clipboard wordlessly. The paperwork churns my stomach. Nauseating. It's bad. An x-ray stitches Dr. V administration fee. A total of nearly $3,000. Says the office will call and mail me in a couple of business days to set up a payment plan. I sign it. Can I ride back to school with you? She looks shocked. What? You don't have to. I can take you home again. I want to go back. For what? Turner can wait. It's not that. I just need to. Please? She sighs. Okay. Don't make me regret it by being even more trouble. I'm ashamed and I and don't look her in the eyes. I won't. Hmm. She leads me out of the facility. It's not long before I'm in the passenger seat of a car again. Our eye is pretty damn swollen. Jesus. You can owe me gas money at this rate. <laughs> yeah, she had a smile then as well. My teeth clench while I sit quietly. She looks me over. That was a joke. It could have been worse, you know. Did Rosalind and I do uh, okay on the setup? What? The art supplies in your room. Wow, Ross actually helped? I yield a small smile. <laughs> she knew more than I did. I haven't had time to check for some reason, but I appreciate your help. <laughs> That's cute. The ride becomes quiet and soon we reach the school. I can understand her irritation, but it's not entirely us as well. And also, Choke Cherries High School ain't out a name. I follow Miss Webb indoors while looking at my phone. It's the period just before lunch. She faces me. Put that away and go to class, th then. Go on. I nod and pocket my phone. Okay, thanks again. Yeah. With a little wave, she moves off, presumably to her own classroom. As she turns the corner, I grab my phone again and walk. Go in the direction of my class. My current class, even. You're in math, right? Yes, I okay, can't text much. What the hell happened? I need a favor. Okay, what? Pass out a note to meet you in the gym. Right now. Why? Just do it. Minutes pass. The wards just inside the gym. Uh, entrance support me as I stand waiting. Okay, now this. This is the bit that makes me hate Alice. You ready? Soon I hear familiar voices approaching. What's with the strategic bathroom breaks? I just come in here. In the gym? Am I, you attempted to take advantage of my single status? Mmm, that's confidence. I do like the humor, but goddamn. Evan catches view of me and his face blushes. No, crap, I'm not, definitely not. What's that? She tenses at the side of me. I push off the wall and hold her up open palms. I came back to school to apologize. Evan is helping. Alice appraises me silently. Evan interjects. Sorry. She glances at him with acknowledgement. Then adjusts her glasses. Alice, I lost my temper and I shouldn't have done that. I should never have hit you. True. He shouldn't have. As much as I was happy that he did, he still shouldn't have. So, but what she done is she went way above and beyond the call of duty, in my opinion, by far. I won't press charges, don't worry. But at least she's not pressing charges. No, it's not. You have nothing anyway. Is that all? Oh, I didn't even realise that. Jesus. Not only uh, did she just reject our apology, she called us dirt poor. So she can't sue us. So it's like, oh, yeah, you can't do anything. Anyway, I can't get anything from you. Even if I do anything, you're worthless. I overreacted. I was really worried. And I get it. Are we done? No, you don't. No, you don't. If you want the president role, you can have it. No, you don't understand at all. So help me, damn it. I'm apologizing. Yes, and I do not accept your apology. I don't owe you any satisfaction. And we're not looking for satisfaction. We're looking to apologize. Which at least he had the common decency to do and go out of his way to try and do it. The mere fact that you were so desperate to apologize and with major concessions hours after the incident is proof of the severity of your action. 
In other words, she's saying, yeah, you shouldn't have done any of this. You are a horrible person. Yada, yada, yada. So see with that and know that I will not offer you peace of mind. So she's saying now, because you hit me, I am going to remember it for all eternity and shame you forever for it. Even though I was the one who went the extra mile that led up to it. Imagine if she uh, got um, a severed hand in her locker uh, covered with blood of Evan. Or like, and it was easily identifiable as Evan. Say like uh, part of his jacket was there, like an identifiable part. She would go ape shit. She would. And if it was a prank and I did it, she wouldn't be afraid to wail out or set Evan on me to murder me. <sighs> Alice, it's... and you. And somehow he's now the bad guy. While she opens the gym door to leave, she holds a glare with Evan. You're a prop. You should learn to think for yourself or selfish people like him will always take advantage of you. And you're making it sound like I'm using him. You clearly know this guy uh, has a fancy for you. You know it. You know it. And he can think for himself. Goodness me. She's like doing anything now to make me seem like the worst person in existence. When really she was the one who instigated uh, the events that led up to it. Although we shouldn't have hit her. Which I agree in a way we shouldn't have. As much as I would have wanted to. Um, but... That was just what happened. What's her deal anyway? Evan rubs his bicep slowly while looking at the linoleum between us. Sorry, I need to go to class. He leaves me alone in the gym. And that's why I don't like Alice. I mean, she may be a good a-hole character, definitely, but I don't like her. I'm debating whether I want something to eat today, given I lost my appetite. I should probably eat at least something. With a buzz, my cell phone alerts me to another message from Mr. Underwood. Since you've chosen to be present today, meet me in my office after lunch. I don't want to respond. I don't want to go. Holly gently is my table concerned, evident in her body language. Are you okay? I'm sorry for what happened. No, no, it was my idea and I'm sorry for freaking you out. Alice didn't want to do it, but I talked her into it. And that's the bit I didn't know. That was the bit I didn't know. Um before was that it was actually Holly's idea. But at the same time, Alice was acting like she was the ringleader. She was Mrs. High and Mighty about it. So of course I think she was the ringleader. But yeah, I'm okay. She leans in to, to expect me. You don't look okay. Did your eye hurt? I touched my face around my eye and realized it's sore. I hadn't noticed any swelling until now. Do I have a black eye? She hesitates and shakes her head. It, um, it doesn't look that bad. It's just a little dark. Why did you come back? My appetite for learning. I haven't actually been to any classes yet, though. I'm stuck with book without books anyway. I like this guy's wittiness. He's quick. Holly perks up. I got mine. Hey, mister. You're not getting any food today? Also, sorry for the frame drops. I don't know why it's happening. Let me go into my sentence and fix that quick. Might be because of the game. It's very weird, though, that I'm getting lag on that, but... That should fix it. Okay. That should have fixed it. I put a hand on the table. It's cool and smooth on my palm. I ate at the doctor's office. He lied. Oh, well, um... So what happened this morning, exactly? This big eyes of hers, water. I played a really bad job that hurt my friends. You, Alice Kane? It's difficult for me to emphasize with Kane. Yeah. I don't remember what happened after he hit me. Mr. G was really upset and <laughs> he said, break it up, you kids are damaging school property. I chuckle at impression and its contents. <laughs> Sounds right. And um, there's not much else. Look, if you really feel bad, make it up to us. Huh? Crying won't help anyone. Go at me and Alice to uh, Mr. Underwood. Explain what happened. You're such a butthead. Well, I could use the support and she doesn't seem to be in a position to refuse. Yes, uh, scummies, I may be to say that. Yeah. She's going to take some responsibility for being the one who concocted that nasty plan. It was n it was horrible. And Alice was going along with it. Wait. It can't be that Alice was going along with it to protect Holly, was she? No, no, no. It can't be that. Uh, she doesn't seem to be in a position. Oh, yeah. 
Hey, I feel too. Great, we're going right after lunch. It smells here again to me, so I'm ready to leave now. He don't want to get hungry. He's trying to ignore food. My stomach grumbles and I pull my hand from the table. For Holly can comment, I hold my phone between us. Hey, you indirectly gave me your number, right? Is it okay that I save it? Of course. Text me anytime. <laughs> I add her to my contacts. Will do. Holly starts to follow up but notices my impatience and instead um, finishes a meal. I engage on my phone in the meantime. And here is where I chose to text Rosalind and not Evan. Hey, did you hear about this morning? King Clark's some kid dumb enough to mess with Alice, right? <laughs> I'm the dumb kid. Well, texted from a coffin. Oh, her profile picture is pretty cool. It's a little dark and cramped and I'm running out of oxygen. But for some reason I thought of you in my last moments. How flirty is that? <laughs> my man, a smooth operator. Holly well, snatches my phone from me. Mister? It's rude to be only found in the presence of the divine. Sure, it takes something that's not yours. Hand it over. I hold on my hand, Palmer. She winks and sticks out her tongue. <laughs> Fine, I'm done anyway. After standing her soft fingers, brush mine while she folds my hand, closed over, her, uh, closed over the cell phone. Secured. Let's go do this. I stand with a sigh and begin leading her to the administration halls. Along the way, I look back at her. Hey, did Alice ask you to join a student group too? Holly nods. I said no. Okay. What should I say? And she takes off the foxes before she goes in. To Mr. Underwood? I'll introduce you and you'll just tell the truth. Maybe he'll lighten our sentence. He nods again, nervously this... She nods again, sorry, nervously this time. Uh... 214. Come in. Alice and Mr. Underwood are waiting inside. That feels like Holly and I are interrupting. Alice is sitting stiff in one of the seats across the front of the desk and looking at the wall face turned from us. It's hard to believe this guy's probably in his 60s, 70s possibly. I thought he was in his mid-40s. Underwood stands from his desk. He addresses Holly. Hmm. How may I help you? Mr. Underwood, this is my friend Holly. Alice turns to see Holly surprised. She wanted to come with me to explain what happened today. I pat Holly's back, goading her forward. She steps up gingerly. Mr. Arnold's expression softens. It is nice to meet you, Holly. Take a seat and start from the beginning. Lane, please close the door. Yep, I do so as say to the side. Ah! Taking care not to lean on the wall, Holly recounts the event honestly and thoroughly. Alice and I lock eyes with Holly uh, when Holly gets to the part about hitting her, and I look down. We listen to completion. So, so you see? Lane blamed Alice and Kane blamed Lane. But it was my bad idea of a joke. Uh, it's trembling a lamp. And the most at fault, sir. Hmm. Thank you for choosing to come forward. It was very mature. Yeah, I agree. Guilt is compelling. It's easier to run away from your problems than solving them. And she was honest about it. I had to admit that's, a, that's good. Mr. Underwood adjusts his rolled up sleeves. I step forward. She would she also like to join the student union, sir. We resort to ensuring that when these kinds of misunderstandings occur, no one should resort to violence. Yeah, under what raises an eyebrow and Holly stares at me incredulously. Yeah, she's not happy about it. She then looks at Alice who merely grins. She's outnumbered. Yep, is that so? Yes, sir. He looks at the ceiling for a few seconds, and he is actually looking up. He's probably deciding uh what to do with us. Alice finally chimes in. Looks like he's getting ready to rip, rub that one nipple. <laughs> Alice finally chimes in. I think Kane's punishment was too severe. I'll oh, piss off. He was your knight in shining armor and put me through glass and put me in hospital. And you think his punishment was too severe for two days off only? If anything, that's light. Like mine was a slap. He kept on pummeling me in to the point where I have stitches. I have stitches and a black eye. And you think his was too severe? Piss off! Your input is noted. I disagree. Yes, he believes the opposite. He leans forward. In strict terms, both Kane and Lane committed assault. Unacceptable. Both of you girls caused a lot of trouble with your mischief using the fake hand from the drama club. What were you thinking? Sir, I was overly competitive and took it too far. It was a prank in bad taste and I realize it now. 
At least she admits that, but she won't apologize for it. That's the thing. For appearances, she can say, yeah, I didn't mean it, but in actuality, um, she's like, nah, screw you on that one. Oh. Let me see, how long am I been recording? 20 minutes. Yeah, my buddy's just arrived because it's a leaving party today. Got only three days left here in Japan. It's weird. He glances at me before massaging the bridge of his nose. You three will perform janitorial duties for the next three evenings for one hour after school. Ever economical. Will that interfere with the cleaners' work? We do not yet have a janitor this year. Yay, 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 that's not good. Then who cleaned the stairs? In light of the circumstance, I believe it'll provide insight on the school's code need for your group and represent a team building exercise. We're still allowed to create a group? Tentatively. I did, sir. I will too. Good, Ellis. Of course, sir. Mr. Underwood stands. Thank you all for taking responsibility and making an effort to move past this. I expect we will not need to have a repeat of this conversation. We nod with varying speed. Holly is particularly empathetic. Emphatic. And now for her to hate me for suggesting she's in the group. We three walk down the hall quietly at first, but eventually Holly can't contain her need to vent. Why did you make me go in there and join the club? What the heck? And now she's boxing us. She lightly punches me in protest, hopping with each bat. I love that it's a bat. I smirk and gently defend myself. Hey, we said no violence, remember? You said several things I don't agree with, mister. With my hand on her head, to hold her back, she puffs up. <laughs> she feel glad. I could have gotten revenge like in the gangster movies. You were going to cut up my pinky? If I was feeling a poet, I'd make you cut the whole... Your, cut it. Make it your whole hand. Damn. <laughs> she hops back. Alice watches us with her arms crossed. We all got off easy, actually. Which is true. Admittedly, I got off with a soul. Which it, which it was. I have to admit that. But I believe there's aggravating mighty game factors. On his side, there's more mighty game factors than aggravating factors. In uh, my sense of law thinking. Yeah, I got it easy actually. I continue to address Holly. So I can count on your vote, right? Uh, uh. It's only fair that I'm trying to apologize to you that I vote for Alice to apologize to her. Okay. I gave her a head pat. She swats it away in mock protest. God damn it! She knocked away my head pat. How could you? That's fair enough. Thanks. The bell sounds as Alice treads closer. Her voice travels through the ringing. So you're not quitting after all? Nah, I guess not. If you accept my apology, I'll consider not keeping you on cleanup duty. I won't do that, but I will work with you if you remain semi-confident. And this is another reason I'm not very... Not very keen on her. Watch this. I extend a handshake. Deal. I just stares at my hand long enough to discomfort me. Yeah, she's making us... She wants to make us suffer. She wants to make us remember that she'll never apologise to us. Because, in her mind, we are the worst... And her boyfriend got the punishment, not the person that hit her, my feelings. So I make him suffer and walks away. Holly shakes my outstretched hand in place of Alice and whispers, Deal. Mm -hmm. See you after school. <laughs> See you. She leaves too. My stomach growls, but I can't hear it over the churn of students around me. I feel the rumble of my abdomen as I go to class. You ready for this, guys? Because, whoo boy, we're going to get more muscle girl. Have it decide for the angry stairs from yesterday's study hall. Coach decided we could use a free period in the gym today. I sit on the bleachers alone, watching students socialise and play on the basketball court. I'm not looking forward to unpaid cleanup duty after this. I run my fingers through my hair, carefully up to the edges of the bandage. The itchiness irritates me. Does it hurt? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I want to lick them abs. I flinch and turn to the tall girl from yesterday. Oh, now, nah, right? She nods. It's sore, but not too bad. What's up? You're pale. My confusion disperses after a second, and I chuckle. <laughs> oh, you're worried about me? <laughs> I'm okay. She places a fresh water bottle on the seat near me. 
You can have this. <laughs> hey, you never said why you weren't interested. Inviting her to sit with me, I pat the seat. She hesitates. In the paid student group, I mean. She's just a little further away than the uh, than my gesture indicated, which is fine. That's fine. Maybe going home soon. I sure hope so. The day's almost over. To my home country. I open a bottle, um, bottle and drink. I'm thirsty than I realised. Where are you from? Russia. My family may move back. Sorry. No, I want it. What's wrong with here? It's not that there's anything wrong with here. She stares at me. I'll rephrase. Why do you want to move back? Friends and family. You have those here too, right? Not my brothers or my boyfriend. And she's got a partner. Damn it. But then again, considering her physique and how uh, stunning she is, I, I would not be surprised. The last of the cool water slides down my throat as I upturn the bottle. I cap the empty container. Ah, that's hard, sorry. If I had to move back, won't be too much of a pain. Thanks for the water. Do you need to leave school? Do I look that bad? You appear unsteady. Dang. So even to her, we... Uh, an athlete. She's technically an athlete, so she's usually used to looking out for others' uh, well-being in games and that lot, right? Or sports. I shake my head. That's my shape, I said. It's sweet of her to worry. Yeah, she's really kind. I like her. I stand firmly uh, as an example. <laughs> I'm fine, see? I'm going to take a little walk. Talk to you later. She responds non-verbally. I don't see it as a... I, I don't see it as I turn to stride into the hall. I checked my phone. No, I'm read messages. Alright. Now, in this one, I thought about texting Holly, but no, I, I went to text Miss Webb, and I'm gonna, still going to do that same choice. How are your classes? This is meant to be an emergency contact line. I've got Mr. Underwood's number, too. He's male. Surely you recognize the issue? What are you afraid of? Excuse me, do you need something? Do I? I don't know, what the hell is all that graffiti on the toilets? Ugh. I lift my eyes from my phone while entering the restroom. Prodding under my eye with my four fingers, I inspect myself in front of the sink. I'm pale and the shiny, the shiner under my left eye is stark. We wash our face as well. Yeah, give it a little sploosh. I splash my face. The door weighs more than usual, but I push back into the corridor. And there's the sound. This... This freaked me out when I first heard it. Uh, I'm annoyed this is my second time now since that first mistake with the recording. Only a few steps toward the gym before I stop. That noise is familiar. It's from the upper floor. And there's the ambience. Deciding to investigate, I hurry to the stairs. Still clean. While climbing, I massage my gums with my tongue. A taste of copper. And 215 is right up there. The second story comes into view. The hallway comes in. Mm. I shuffle in the direction of the noise. And soon I'm in front of Mr. Underwood's office. I knock on the closed door. Hello, is everything alright? Only silence responds. I'm coming in. Just before my hand touches the knob, it rattles violently. Mm -hmm. Eesh, I flinch and step back, staring at the jerking handle. What are you doing? And there's Nat. Look at her. Whoa. She's tall. I spin on my heel and bump into Nat's chest. Nice. <laughs> she steadies me by the shoulders and pushes me back slightly. Why are you breaking into the office of a teacher? Shaking my head, I sputter a response. No, no. There's someone in there. Nat stares into my eyes for a few seconds. After evaluating me for satisfaction, she releases me and opens the door. And guess what? No one's in there. Empty. She faces me. We will go back. We will go back, okay? I don't know what to say. I walk into Mr. Underwood's office. There's no other exit and the window is closed. Besides, we're on the second floor. I'm not crazy, I think, about saying. I don't say it. It's probably best not to. And now we're just about at a place where um, I um, realised that the recording wasn't, wasn't recording my voice. Nat clasps my hand and leads me out, gently closing the door behind us. I lose myself in thought. We we near the gym. And I jerk away. Why did you follow me? To help. Why? What do you get? You need me to have a reason? 
She pauses as I lean on a locker. It is medicine. You think I'm sick? My medicine. When stressed, exhausted, ill, it is good to is a good remedy to help someone else. I rub the back of my neck. Are you going to tell anyone? Not unless you leave again. She means what she says. Sure. Here we go. I avoid her steady gaze and push off the locker and into the gym. I'm not some sort of troublemaker. With skepticism, she eyes me from top to bottom. I reciprocate my eyes, catching on her features. I have a boyfriend. I know, you said earlier. Is that what's stressing you out? Yeah. Hmm? You don't look sick or tired. She runs her fingers through her hair and watches the students play basketball. Why did she even have to say she had a boyfriend? She said it earlier. We heard twice now. Ugh. It is difficult to be separate. Rice flip between me and the other students. A pair of you got suspended, they'd have to take you back. Her eyes widen. They? Your parents. Her lips curve at my joke. <laughs> See? You have trouble. Is it word that keeps your parents here? Yes. Oh. She looks so cute like that. God damn. I plop on the bleachers and that follows. She continues to watch me. Well, if you ever want to talk about it, I owe you one. What do you owe? A favour in return for you not telling anyone about my troublemaking. You forget the you forget the water. Do then, okay? Okay. <laughs> nice. Contend that I'm now stationary. She retreats to the court in her usual graceful way. We've sit we've watched her before then. God damn. So at 31 minutes, nice. I palm my forward I palm my forehead to wipe away small beads of sweat. Remember when you were being paranoid? Evan. You think I'm always paranoid? You are, I mean, when you said this year was weird. Why? Just curious. Just curious what you meant. School is haunted. I'm sure of it. Oh, yeah. Ghosts don't exist. What made you think of that? Mm, it says Evan's typing. I swallow a glance at the court. Nat performs a crossover, dribbling past two defenders, and turn a post. Mm. She, she narrowly misses her layup. Oof. Hear some doors slamming? Loud noises from the second floor. Hello? You stopped typing. Evan? Damn it. I gather the bottles of cleaner I'd knocked from the I'd knocked from the shelf. My first instinct leads me to bend at the waist, which I regret with a low wince. I straighten a retreat from the dim room arms cradling the supplies. Mr. Underwood's quick to text instructions to us uh, in a group text, and Alex and Alice was quicker to address Holly and me with instructions of her own. Oh. So she's trying to make us go against Mr. Underwood? I'm in the mood to sleep. Not struggle for control, so I'm humouring her. Well, yeah, you're also very... Mm, well, you're still injured as well. I'm surprised you don't have a concussion. Stepping over the broken glass and my own dry blood, I ease my payload across the desk. Mr. Underwood wanted us to clean the art room and gym today. Coach Jean will apparently hold us accountable. Alice asks that I handle this room when she and Holly take on the gym for the hour. I unfill the plastic trash bag and begin my task. The glass proves easy enough to gather. My blood spattered on, under, and in front of the door is not easy to clean. Yeah, clean up blood like that is not easy. I've, I've had to clean a bloody mirror before. Yikes. It's not a lot, but it still managed uh, to cause as much mess as it could. I buff the floor with a damp rag until it drop until drops of sweat from my forehead contribute to the lubrication of cleaning solution. I flake off a good amount of residue, but a few areas are just too stubborn. The label on the bottle informs me. This cheap stuff won't cut it. I take the trash to the bin outside and stop by the science lab on the way back. We need a ride home? Saying no is tempting, but as, as a gut reaction. I'd have to walk though. Yes, please. I'll be ready around five. Wait in my room when you finish. Thank you, ma'am. Don't call me, ma'am. Oh, okay. I deposit a trash bag in the bin outside. I like the teacher. I like Miss Webb. So I need uh, some effort as well. And head to the science room. Something's going to happen. Expecting an empty room, I open the door without a knock. Whoa! Alice is in there. Hello. Huh? Get down. Whoa. What? What? Whoa, wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? She takes me by the wrist and yanks me behind the front desk with her. She's making a Coca-Cola bomb, really? What the hell? 
Quiet, close your eyes. Why? She holds my head down uh, firmly as a loud explosion occurs in the middle of the room. She actually made the bottle explode. Did she put air pressure or something in it? What? What are you doing? Basic but functional. Basic but functional. Alice stands up with me and we observe the fractured plastic bottle tipped over dramatically. Is she trying to make plastic bottle bombs? Thin vapor puffs from the lid and small bits of plastic litter the room. I blink twice and try shaking the ringing out of my ear. What are you doing in here? Alice looks happy to answer that. I'm producing miniature hydrogen bombs and testing various mechanical methods of production and containment. Smart using hydrogen. Because hydrogen is a very uh, unstable element as it is. That's risky. You're making a bomb? Bombs, plural. Relax, Neanderthal is perfectly safe. Oh, your arrogance is some is one day gonna get you beaten by somebody else that isn't this guy. Oh, it's a smoldering bottle. Doesn't look like it. What are you doing in here instead of the in the gym anyway? I'm interested in the energy production capabilities of the reaction and exploring practical uses via automation. What are you talking about? Two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen. High temperature, big boom, understand? There are many uses for explosive energy. But why are you doing this when we should be cleaning up? Think hybrid cars, which utilize the energy to release and make a more fuel efficient vehicle. Where did you get hydrogen? Yeah, there's no way we just store that here. I made it, simple. There are a few ways to do it, but I combined sodium hydroxide with aluminum. Oh, that's how you did it. You separate the elements from those two so you can get the hydrogen. Okay. I shake my head. Okay, whatever, fine. Why are you not cleaning like you're supposed to? She closed the door I had left open. I'm not going to be a janitor in the future, nor a housewife, so cleaning duty yields no practical experience for me. I'll piss off! So in other words... Oh, fuck's sake. Yeah, we get it, you're smart, but you're still a bitch. That doesn't matter, it's punishment. You know I could tell Mr. Underwood about this. I know that you couldn't tell Mr. Underwood about this. What? Explain. I'll deny it, and the ensuing conflict would uh, handily destroy any team building efforts and likely scrap the student union information. Does she not want it? And she do not want that, so you have no power here. I had the power. Oh. She's a control freak! Oh, it's a shame she's good looking as well. Oh, I don't like Alice. Why, well, you here want to be my assistant? Uh, no, I don't. She moves to the table and, uh, and erects the bottle. No. Did you leave Holly in the gym? I did, yes. Or well, you're horrid then. And you called me selfish. I didn't say I wasn't too. Fair, but you're still selfish. Do you know how to clean up blood? Alice glares at me, glanced at the door, and placed her hand inside the desk drawer. So I'm cleaning the art room. I need to clean up my bluff this morning. It dried and won't come up. Oh. She frees her uh, hand from the drawer. Yeah, mix a little bleach with water, and let it sit in the sinks for 15 minutes and wash it up after. Huh. You sure? Of course. Yep. That works. I also have more for a solution, but the simple method uh, will work for you, dearies. She weighs me away and returns to her task. I hesitate for a second and open up the door to leave. Thanks. Yep. Do your job! Bloody hell, if you cannot even handle a single uh, thing that you are responsible in partaking in, how the hell can you hold up a job that may have an odd job that you disagree with? It's like, oh, I'm not going to do that because it's not in uh, this, 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 and this. Guess what? They'd sack you. They would sack you. I return to the cleanup duty. I dust off the rest of the classroom while waiting for the solution to sit and afterwards rub it clean. Alice's method works well, actually. Some tiny patches remain on the floor. I doubt anyone would complain when seeing this improvement. Well, maybe they would, but that's choked Cherry high, high without a few blood stains. Will you please help me? Oh, she's got the cutesy messaging with the cleaning. Yes, I'm all alone. Please, please, please. I could help her. Then again, we're already even in my book. While I'm waiting for Miss Webb, I could check uh, for the, sec the second floor again. Hmm. Do I want to help Helly, uh, Holly clean or check out the second floor again? Mmm. Mmm. That's a good one. Which one do I want to do? Um. Hmm. Hmm. 
Fine, I'm sure it won't take long. Everyone would be jealous. I collect the supplies and transition to the gym. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. That seems like a death trap. I'm gonna help Holly. She's done. And do you know what? I don't think she's gonna. She's that bad. If anything, she fought for a really bad prank. She actually feels genuinely sorry about it. But the one who uh, took it the extra mile, who didn't even want to do it, took it the extra mile more than they should have. I approached the bench along the court. Holly lies on her back, immersed in her cell phone. She hasn't noticed me. Oh, for God's sake. What are you doing? Holly ups up and stumbles widely, near dropping her phone. <laughs> Hi, that was fast. And that was suspicious. Well, it shouldn't be because it's not. I scan the area. There are no clean implements which fuels my suspicion. She's done nothing! Where are your cleaning supplies? I just was getting them, remember? Remember? For 40 minutes and you didn't think to check on her? I most certainly did. I texted her when she was helping you for a bit. She said to text you for help later. She should both have finished early by working together. Oh, great. She used us. Damn it, Alice. I pushed my palm across my face. <sighs> Fine, and why didn't you start here? She looks down into her hands. Smile faded. God damn it. That's an, that's 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 annoying me. Hold on one second. Let me just turn down uh, the music volume a little bit. There we go. There we go. That's much better. She looks down into her hands. Smile faded. You both had the you both had the supplies. Then why didn't you come help or ask for our supplies? Seriously. Her eyes water. Her hands clenched together in front of her. She mumbles. What? Speak up. The blood. I didn't want to see it. My eyes widen as I realize why. Damn it, I shouldn't forget that. It's okay. I'm here now, so let's just finish up quick, yeah? She nods solemnly and we begin our task. She's not good with real blood. Okay. Okay, okay, I can understand that. I can understand that. I glance at Holly periodically to confirm her status. A few minutes pass. I'm sorry for not being around as much over the break. I know Evan wanted to hang out too. It's okay, I... I really was working a ton. Besides, I thought you might want some space for a while. A smile returns. Everyone thought that all this at the same time. It probably didn't help that I had to get a new phone number. How about I make it up to you? She's got circumstances on why she's got another phone number. Definitely. Want to spend time with me and Evan this weekend? I push the wide dust mop over the floor. Move it away from her. Maybe. If you promise to make it fun. My time is top tier. You boys must earn it. <laughs> we'll figure something out, so long as you're not sick of me by the end of our punishment sessions. Punishment sessions make it sound way kinkier than it is. Oh, yes. As I near her with the mop, I wiggle my eyebrows. Ha <laughs> ha. Do you like it? Do you want it to be kinkier? No, bad. I chuckle and continue dusting the court. She's funny, I like her. I do like Holly. But yeah, she shouldn't have fought up a horrid prank. Holly picks up trash from under the bleachers. The garbage stretched out, uh, stretched out the trash bag she used to gather it. I approach she grunts loudly, struggling to fit the bag. I cross my arms and watch her. Need help? <laughs> Not from a peasant. I'm more like a mighty warrior. Fresh from battle, adrenaline still pumping through me. I point to my bandage. So, come on, give me that. Gripping beneath her, uh, two hands with one hand, I squeeze the bag close tightly and lift it over my shoulder. Oh man, my throat. <coughs> my other arm cradles my own, m many of our supplies. Mighty indeed. How chivalrous. She scoots out the remaining dust mop and we journey to the janitor's closet. Can I ask you something weird? Sure. Wait, maybe. Have you heard or seen anything weird around school? Holly looks up at me, examining my forehead as it beads with sweat. What do you mean? Loud noises, banging the thirds from the second floor. No, nope. I could ask Granddaddy if there's construction. I doubt that. I shake my head quickly. Nah, it's not important. I leave the trash bag into the dumpster with a grunt before we move back inside and to the closet. Hey, you okay? Hey, you okay? Yeah, it's been a very long day. We restock the shelves with the slightly diminished supplies. Oh, where's she going? Or at least I do. Not sure what Holly's doing. From behind I hear a faint click of the door closing. Whoa, 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 hello, 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 what's going on here? 
Hold on a minute. I must take a screenshot. I turn and look at Holly. She's close, looking into my eyes. A valiant hero award to an about it deserves a reward. I feel my cheeks flush. Dang. What did you have in mind? Do you know what harvest goddesses are known for? Their fertility? <laughs> she giggles and squeezes my hand. Yes, but also their healing powers. Yeah? What are you doing? What are you doing, silly? She massages my hand slowly with her soft fingers, pressed into the muscles of my palm. A hand massage? Oh, nice! Press into the muscles of my palm. Tin slowly works her way down each finger. She rubs between each and every joint. Carefully, she rolls her slim fingers down all over my hand. Eyes, uh, my eyes closed, shoulders relax. You're good at that. Her voice is a whisper. My hand rests limp in her grip while she systematically fondles me. I did this at cards sometimes. Boof maybe boof Dave's strategies to lure in the otaku. <laughs> Damn, that's mischievous. I speak in a whisper too, completely relaxed. I bet it worked well. Yeah, she hums. I open my eyes just in the time to see her parting uh, from my hand with a kiss. Whoa! Her lips were warm. We we're both blushing. With that, dear warrior, the ritual is complete. He'll be fully rejuvenated with 110% health upon resting at the inn. <laughs> wow, what a buff! Do I get one if I do all your home, all your work tomorrow too? Maybe. Well, too bad. You need to pull your weight, even if you're tiny. Hey, nice. That's cute. <laughs> She spins around and swings over the door before hopping out. I follow with a stupid smile on my face. <laughs> Holly ran away, silly girl. I repeat the thought of Evan being jealous about my time with Holly. Probably best to spare him every detail. Wait, was it who was it that you liked? Was it Alice or Holly? I can't remember. I can't remember if it was one or the other. I feel unsteady. My fingers dig into my shirt beneath the jacket and above my heart. The smooth polyester cotton fabric comforts my uh, confirm, conforms to my grip. Ready? My hand returns to the side at the sound of at the sound of Miss Webb's voice. Yeah. Miss Webb? Her eyes flicker over to me. Ask me on the way. Okay. Do you? Her eyes lock to mine once we reach the first floor. Stay home tomorrow. What? Wait, what? I didn't study. Why? My vision blurs and I hold my hand over my eye. She pulls my hand down. Are you serious? Maybe she's right, but I can't have to clean as punishment. You can. You have my permission. Do you know Mr. Underwood well? Right in her eyes, she resumes our walk. I know him a little. You called him Turner, so I was just curious. Ah. What was he like? Like he is now, but happier. Hey, Rosalind! Yes, secret best girl is here. Rosalind leans against Ms. Webb's car as we approach. She notices my, me curiously. Sounds my ride. Do you normally ride with her? Sometimes, mm-hmm. Ms. Webb slides into the front seat. It's unlocked. Ross and I join her. Hey! Oh, yeah, I like this. Seems like they're in a quiet mood. Uh, that definitely works for me right now. I wonder if she's dropping off uh, me or Ross first. My attention turns to the window. I'm so tired. What a day. I smell Miss Webb's lavender air freshener, and I think of one of them is wearing a pretty perfume, actually. I drift to sleep for just a bit. Hey, we're here. Looks like my place is the first stop. Thanks again. Miss Webb offers me a long look. Get some rest. Immediately after I step out, Ross climbs into the front seat to replace me. Shoes! What have I told you? Come on. Are they sisters? As I walk away from their arguing, I notice Jester curled up in the front step. I bend to pet his back. Hey! Hey, buddy. This morning I could have sworn you were being stubborn again and stayed inside. Jester lifts his rear to press into my hand. I step in front of the door and hold the knob steady while reaching for my key. Why is the ominous music here? But it's not locked. Okay! Looking back at uh, where Mrs. Webb's car was, I confirmed they already left. 
I hesitate. Who's here? Opening the door slowly, I step inside the dark entrance. I use the door closed with an inaudible click. Light rustling can be heard from my room? I inch toward the kitchen, one hand following the wall to keep me steady. My eyes adjust to the dark. I slide a large kitchen knife from its holder. Sharp tip faces tool outward as I wield it with both hands. The rustling continues. I hold my breath and move cl That was a camera. That was a camera! Who had a camera? Who had a camera? Um, uh, what was that click? The sound is more distinct right outside the door to my room. I kick the door open and face the intruder. Evan? Ah! What the hell do you... You? I lower my weapon. What are you doing in here? Evan have impressed himself against the wall. Yeah, look at him, he's got a camera and everything. What are you doing in my house? Broken in, no less. Take a step forward. I... I was waiting. You! Yeah, why are you messing with my shit? I was bored. What? And why are the lights off? I, I've been here for a minute, huh? I don't hide my irritation. No, I'd be mad. How did you get in? Spare? The key? The extra one you keep behind the stairs? Note to self, don't leave a spare out. Don't have to stop. None of my account. I won't tell anyone. But the key, I mean. My anger fades. I lift the knife again. Guess I'm gonna have to kill you, huh? Very funny. Why are you in the dark? Yeah, that's so suspicious. I set the knife on my bedside table and flip the light switch. The light does not turn on. The power is out, I think. Great. I rub my face. Okay, so why are you waiting for me? Okay, that clears that up. I couldn't say it in writing. You never know who's going to see it. So what? What you said. It's true. Knows at school? Oh, that's why he's here. I think... I hold on my palm. But why are you taking pictures then? That doesn't make sense. No, it's not. I was joking. You're being ridiculous again. No, I'm not. Well, no, I'm not. Not this time, honest. I sit on my bed. Look, I'm really tired today. Lena, I'm serious. I am too. Out. He doesn't budge. I, I go in the library instead of study hall in the afternoon. Yeah, it feels like it's useless there. Half, there's half the students missing. Coach wouldn't notice. As long as I don't do it too often, he's it's okay. I've been doing it more. Congrats on your new level of delinquency. Looks like he's choosing his words carefully while he avoids eye contact with me. I'm not the only one. In there, I mean. I seen Principal Decker and Mr. Underwood talking. They were arguing today. About what? Well, I couldn't hear well. They were talking low. Talking quietly, I think. Mr. Underwood said something about a sustainable solution. So, yeah, there was something with Mr. Underwood as well. I don't understand the problem. They were just talking. Most everyone at school knows things are tense because funding was cut. I massaged the nape of my neck. That's, well, yeah, but they were really serious. I felt like if they caught me, I'd be in a lot of trouble. Of course, because she was skipping class. Why would you ki why why would I keep meeting there to have important conversations? I don't know, but I know it's probably not as nefarious as you seem to think. No, but wouldn't why wouldn't they go into each other's office? Is something in there with them? Like with his office, um Mr. Underwood's office, there was a spirit that was rattling the the door, right? Is there a reason they can't speak in their offices? How do you know? It's not normal. It's not really that abnormal. Look, I'll go with you tomorrow if it makes you feel better. Okay, good. Right at the study period, right? Yes. Jeez, you need to relax. He stares at my bandage. I need to relax? What about you? <laughs> what about me? Sorry, I just mean... What's going on lately? Are you okay? I chuckle. <laughs> I've got a serious headache, but I'm fine. Why are the lights out? It's me. I just got home. I'll call the power company later to figure it out. Where's your mom? His concern becomes frustration. Oh. Why have you been like this? What's wrong with asking for help? You you clearly need it. I stand up. Yeah, yeah. You shouldn't have said that last bit. I, cl I clearly need help, huh? Evan steps back. I didn't mean it in a bad way. It's not bad. How do I need help then? What the hell do you know? He 
Yeah, he's got an abusive household, I think. I know, you're right. I just think it's okay to ask for help. I'll help if I can. Well, I don't need your fucking help. Why did you ask me to join the group? Because then you'd say yes, because you always do. You rely on me too much, and you're obsessed over what I'm doing. Get your own damn life. Go to single other friend if you can. Uh, you need to leave. I haven't gently placed the extra key on my dresser nexus. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I'm going to end this here. I'm going to end this part here. This is a long demo. I'm impressed. But, Jesus, there is a lot more to this than I would have expected. Oh, boy. And there's definitely some supernatural stuff going in the school that seems to not be able to be explained. And also, I'm hoping that this does get funded because I want to see how this does progress. Although, I know the full game won't be out until probably January 2022, which is a shame. But, if it's good, I'm willing to wait that long. I've waited like three years for one project that's not come to fruition. And I'm actually looking to get my money back very soon because it's been too long. No news, no nothing. But anyway, guys, I am all out of time. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you want to need more from me. And I shall see you in the next video. So long, guys. Oh, most certainly. See you next time. Okay. Uh, but though, Alice... I don't like her as a possible root interest. I like her character. As a real-life person, definitely not. She's icky. Damn Russia girl making me feel like... Ooh. Whoa! Hoo-hoo, boy!